Michigan, Maryland from Ann Arbor. Oh, Tom Coughlin, former Super Bowl winning coach of my New York Giants. We'll happen to be in Lambeau Field watching them against the Packers on Sunday, non sequitur. Uh, taking on Maryland, <laughs> under eight minutes left in the first. Maryland by six. Anthony Cowan finds Demonte Dodd. Maryland leads it by nine. Two minutes to play in the first half. Mellow Trimble doing what Mellow Trimble does, finding space in the lane. Terps up 37 28 at the break. Second half, Michigan opens up on a 9 1 run. Muhammad Ali Abdur Rahman ahead to DJ Wilson, but Jared Nickens had the answer time and time again for the Terps. Four of four from downtown as a team, Maryland made 10 of 15 threes. Terps back up by six. Michigan within four, back and forth we go. Zach Irvin, let's make this a two point game. Under four to go, Maryland's lead at four. It's Dodd on the inside, career high 15 for Double D and the Terps are up by six. Michigan then relying on some good old fashioned German engineering. Mo Wagner for three, <laughs> he had a game high 17 and it is a three point basketball game with under a minute to go. Justin Jackson, these young guys from Maryland are absolutely fearless. Jumper, he's fouled, he had 15. Terps up by five. Derek Walton with 30 seconds left, not ready to send this thing quite yet. Wolverines back within three, but Cowan would go to the line and seal the game. Maryland 77-70. Sue Ann Roback handling all the postgame reaction. All right, thanks a lot. A close game, but one that you never really tra trailed in this one. What was the difference in, in getting the win? Uh, we just played poorly throughout the whole game. Uh, we started off in the first half with the league and we never let up, you know, even though they came back, you know, with signs that we wasn't going to let up and we was taking good shots and we had a few turnovers, a few errors, but I mean, we just stayed in and stayed tuned in the game and didn't worry about the mistakes and just kept playing. I'm curious if uh, the mindset changed after last game because it was a tough loss for you. Was it kind of in the back of your mind where you're thinking we are not going to give up this lead? Yeah, I mean, we've been... We didn't play all last week after that loss. So, I mean, we had a lot of time just think about that loss. And, you know, when it got to the game time, we let it go and we moved on to this game. And I'm pretty sure a lot of us think about, you know, last game when they cut it down to two that oh, we can't let this happen again. So, like I said, just we played poised. And a lot of leadership came involved with that, with everyone just staying dialed in and just worrying about the next play. Coach was talking about the balance that the team had on offense. You come off the bench four for four. Talk about your mindset. Was that kind of what you wanted to do, uh, be aggressive when you got in there? Uh, yes, yeah, um, be aggressive personally, but then as the whole team, that was one of our goals, so everybody just be more aggressive. We feel as though we're better when we play that way, and I just wanted to provide a spark off the bench.